Want more great job search tips and advice? Head to fivestrengths.com slash webinar to register for Break the Six-Figure Salary Barrier, Master Your Executive Job Search. In this free webinar, I'm presenting my best strategies for your successful job search. Again, register for Break the Six-Figure Salary Barrier, Master Your Executive Job Search at fivestrengths.com slash webinar. Now on to the show. Hello, and welcome to Your Job Search Coach Podcast. My name is Amy L. Adler. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm an executive resume writer at Five Strengths Career Transition Experts, and today I want to talk about a kind of uncomfortable topic. I want to talk about what to do after you've been laid off. So you can call it separation, you can call it getting fired. It might really be a layoff, a downsizing of some type that has nothing to do with your performance. But whatever it is, you're finding yourself without a job, or at least the knowledge that your job is going to end um, in the near future. And that can feel very uncomfortable and unsettling and uh, emotionally difficult, psychologically difficult, and tactically difficult, because now you know you need to figure out what you're going to do next so that you can provide for yourself and your family and whoever else in the way that you have before. So I'm going to offer you today um, five practical strategies for what to do after you've been laid off. And there are more things you can do, but here's five straightforward ones that you can start with. So let's talk just for a second about why companies lay off people. Um, It could be for performance. There's no doubt. Um, If you are a bad fit for this role, everybody's been there, then you need to be out of that role for whatever reason. Um, So thing number one is to think about the fact that companies have lots of reasons for laying people off. And as it could be more than just... um, an individual's capability or lack of uh, performance. It could be the economy. It could be um, the company's stability. Maybe it's a startup and they didn't quite get there or they didn't get the funding or whatever it is. But know that being laid off is not the end of your career. Um, as if layoff in its truest form is what's happening, then it's not for cause. And your job has just simply ceased to exist. Uh, they don't need you anymore. They don't need anybody in that role anymore. So consider the following strategies to help you after a separation, which is the umbrella term, for the various reasons you could be um, be parting with your company, whatever they call it. Um, it falls under the category of separation from your company. So always the first thing is take care of you. Whatever the reason for your separation, it's not going to be pleasant. Allow time for yourself to heal and don't waste time being angry, although you're probably going to go through several stages of grief, just like with any kind of loss. Um, think about the future. Think about where you might have the ambition to work next and prepare for your future rather than dwell on your past. You will find another job in your career field, and it might take a little bit of time. Um, But in the meantime, work on yourself. So allow yourself to grieve the loss of your former role. Um, And you might consider looking at uh, a publication called the Job Loss Recovery System. I saw the author of this book present at a conference a few years ago. So this is not... um, This is not a promotion of any type, just that I really respected what she had to say. It's called the Job Loss Recovery System. And she did a remarkable job about helping uh, us understand, us as resume writers understand, the value of taking care of oneself as as people go through um, a separation from a company. So that's number one, take care of yourself. Number two, reconnect with or build your network. When you are ready to return to your career field, you will want that network to build on and rely on for opportunities. So branch out with contacts via LinkedIn or other business social media and turn those online connections into phone calls and meetings to support your new job search. Think about it this as, as this. Build your or dig your well before you're thirsty. Plant a tree before you need shade. Do this all along your job search so that when you get to the point of needing this network, you have it available to you. So to build, building your network enhances the skills you bring to your business. Um, it supports fresh ideas for your current or possibly your new organization. And it develops for you an improved understanding of the business environment, all of which help you become a stronger leader and a finer follower. It takes time to build this successful network, especially if you've not done this before, but it will be worth the effort. One caveat to building your network. Don't assume they understand your immediate needs. Um, and don't 
start by asking for a job. This is a binary dead end question that can only be answered yes or no. Instead of asking this closed question, do you have a job for me? Use your networking opportunities to generate deeper, broader insights into your contacts, experience, and expertise. Focus on them. Ask about them. Give them a platform. They will love you for it, and they will talk your ear off. And now you have a new contact that knows, likes, and trusts you. Next strategy, volunteer in your career field or in your community. Volunteer work adds skills to your personal knowledge bank and meat to your resume. In fact, I just podcasted about volunteerism uh, not quite a week ago, so go back and listen to that one if you want to learn about how to incorporate volunteerism into your resume. Volunteerism can also provide you with an activity to fill your time while you're in job limbo. Volunteering supports your career, current passions and demonstrates work that you haven't done before, possibly, so that you can add those skills to your next role. But more than that, there are plenty of reasons to volunteer, but to benefit others, to make a difference, um, of course, develop new skills, to feel better about yourself, to explore other areas of interest. It gives you something to do that you didn't have time for when you were working full time, potentially. And this volunteer experience, by the way, can become a line item on your resume. Go back to that podcast and listen, which explains fruitfully what you have been doing since the time you separated from your company. So you've been doing something active and your job uh, experience doesn't have a dead end. Next strategy, learn a new skill. Don't just pass the time. You could be volunteering, but you could also be building on your abilities and enhancing your skills. Maybe there's a computer program you've always longed to learn or a communication skill you recognize you need to improve on. Consider this time now available to build new skills and complete that course or certification you've been thinking about. Work on that skill and add it to your knowledge bank. You now have the time to work on you, so use it while you're also looking for your new job. And of course, prepare your resume. It's not just for earning your next job. Your resume allows you to highlight your accomplishments and the skills you've learned from these accomplishments. You can use the time to reflect on your career and skills and prepare your own resume, or you could engage someone like me, of course. Um, And you can think about yourself maybe for the first time ever um, as treating yourself as an object of study, maybe also for the first time ever, that introspection for the first time ever. And these are all good ways to spend time during the immediate period after a layoff. Remember, in the, in the truest sense, a layoff reflects no fault of your own. Um, the majority of layoffs involve mass groups of company employees, not just one, not just you. Employers take the time to consider each individual they lay off, and sometimes it's just bad luck. Um, it, may, it may not have anything to do with your work ethic and your competence, and it probably has more to do with budgets and politics and the financial situation of the organization. So you can dust yourself off and strive toward getting back out in your field. Remember, these five um, areas of, of focus can help you get out of, wow, I just lost my job, into I'm going to work to my new job. So take care of yourself, build your network, volunteer, learn something new, and get your resume ready, get your network ready, get all of those things ready so you can jump right back in and be a valuable asset to your future hiring executive. Thanks a lot for listening. Thanks for coming all the way through this with me. If you've been laid off, I'd be curious to hear your story about your job search. So please message me, um, aadler at fivestrengths.com or 801-810-5627. My phone is always on and I'm always interested to hear what you have to say.